Hi, I'm Lazy. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to show you the interior of the rat rod. It's almost finished, probably about 95% finished. Like, like all rat rods, there's still things to do. Uh, what I'll do, I'll show you all the parts I've used, where I've got them from, uh, what vehicles they came from, some from the taxi, some from others, um, the pieces I made, the pieces I didn't make, and the pieces I welded and fabricated. So, the best thing to do is I'll, I'll come get the camera and we'll have a quick look around. Well, it's probably a bit bright, so the first thing we might as well start off with is the steering wheel. Steering wheel, that's it, focus in your own time. Steering wheel was the original taxi frame. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the actual steel work there. That's all taxi, so as a centre boss. All I've pretty much done is stripped all the, the foam and the plastic off of it. That's it, it's focusing again there. And the plastic off it, I've actually welded a chain all the way around it. There's a couple of reasons. Firstly, to make it look nice, and obviously to strengthen it, because obviously I took all the plastic and the foam off, it's made it quite weak, but now it's really strong. Uh, once, once I've got it on there, I've, worked, I've smoothed all the surfaces off, all of the edges, all the rough bits, so it's nice to your hands. The only downside, I suppose, if we ever do get a hot summer, which is, I don't think we will, but if we did, it probably would get a bit warm, but then again, we'll worry about that if the time comes. Right, let's move on. Let's have a look down the bottom. Do, do, do. It's all a bit of shaky hands, but here we go. This is a steering box. Where's a nut down there? Look. Oh. Yeah, steering box. I think it's off a Mark IV Transit. It's definitely a Transit, but I can't remember what um, series it is. So that's the Mark IV Transit. Then the other side is. You can see the pitman arm that comes out the side of the steering box. It was actually straight, but I've actually had to bend it, so I've had to heat it up and bend it slightly. Then you can see it's connecting up to the connecting rod that goes right up to the front of the car. So that's the steering. The steering column is taxi, part of the taxi. But I've had to make the bracket up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Here's the bracket. I've had to make that to support the steering wheel or steering column. You can see it down there. So that's that. So that's all. So again, transit, taxi, taxi. Then we've got the pedal box, which again come out of the taxi. It's amazing just how long that pedal is. It's absolutely colossal. Let's go around the other side. Yeah, you can see the pedals, throttle, and the master cylinder, master cylinder, servo. Again, that's a, that's a taxi one. But I believe, again, I'm sure that's out of a transit. I'm pretty confident it's definitely a transit. So that's that. Let's have a quick round here. We'll look at the dashboard. We've got a few gauges on there. We've kept the gauges to a minimum. So we've got a temperature gauge. We've got a start. Power on, oh, come on this side, power on and start button. It will start in a minute, but I'm going to power on. We've got a um, light switch, we've got side lights, full beam, there's dip and four things that way, yeah. That's them. Speedo, it's not actually connected at the moment, but if we do need a speedo, I'm pretty sure we can get one of the electronic ones. Indicators. Again, this works, they're all wired in. That was going to go into my Model B ID years ago, but obviously I didn't get around to that. Um, we've got some other gauges here which are not actually connected to anything, but they're actually out of a really old car. Um, my friend Brian again gave me these. And one's a temperature, as you can see it there. And that one there is a petrol, but it's not connected to anything, but I think it looks pretty cool anyway. Then we've got some switches, three switches there work, these are spares, uh, let's, quickly, let's quickly put the power on, the power's down there, I'll just click the power up. This, um, I don't think these other two are connected, that one is the fan, and the fans at the back, I've got twin fans at the back, I'll probably show you when I go underneath those, that's another fan, it's not connected yet. That's a fuel pump. Uh, again, if we 
turn the power on and it, it turns over lovely so it, and the indicators you can't the light doesn't work actually on there but I don't know if you can see it sudden flashing just yep yeah. and to the other side that's flashing yeah the reason that one's flashing a bit fast is the bulb set at the back on that side I right, just quickly disconnect the battery now on purpose I've actually made this wire all this wiring accessible so you can see it because it's a rat rod I didn't really want to hide it anywhere so I just made a big effort to make it sort of look untidy but neat if you know what I mean so these these are three relays that's for the fuel pump relay two relays for the fans obviously that's the indicator relay a common earth with loads of stuff this little bundle there is that all that is for the um, windscreen wiper and behind it I don't know if you can see or not there's a fuse box with all the fuse everything's all fused down so that's that really let's quick flip around here we've got a pipe coming down here which is one of the water pipes going to the radiator at the back that's all in brass two pipes here go up to the oil cooler from the gearbox up to the front we've got a scorpion he lives in here but you have to be careful because it's really sharp he's, he's attacked me a couple of times but I've got out of his way um, we've got a sprocket on here which actually does absolutely nothing but just there for show the gear stick is actually all functional now it's a four speed when I brought the gearbox I thought it was a three but it's a four um, this that piece there wasn't actually made for this rat rod I made it for um, a connector some hose connector but I found it in my box and it actually works now so, so you have to lift it up get it into park normal stuff um, I haven't actually marked it on here but this gearbox is a four speed I bought it as a three but when you go through the gears it took me a while to set it all up because this shifter there is um, from a rover uh, my off-roader so I had to play around with all, all the and the mechanism inside so it, it, it does actually work now you can feel it clicking in and when you get to you drive that reverse and park so that's all as it should be and then we go down here we've got the drive shaft Let's see it yeah drive shaft goes through there right back to the back axle I can't remember which one, I think the all the UJs will know, I don't know them, but that yoke there was the uh, from the taxi, which is all brand new, and I managed to get another yoke, I actually had to buy this one to make it fit to the uh, Jaguar uh, ZF gearbox, that's all done there, all shortened, and I painted it with a little stripe on it, so it was good, um, I was going to, I probably will leave this all uncovered, so I thought it would be quite good going along there seeing the Prop shaft spinning around about 100 miles an hour. That's that. What else we got down here? We've got a handbrake mechanism. You can't really see until we go underneath. We've got the handbrake here, which is, believe it or not, it's the original handbrake at the taxi. We've got this behind here. It's fuel tank. It's here. It's a stainless steel fuel tank, and then. We've got a fuel gauge, which is here, which is quite easy one to see. It's obviously, it just shows you the level of the tank. I think it's a, I've worked it out, about 12 gallon tank. Um, you can't really see it, but underneath there, there's a fuel cutout. So there's a fuel pump under there and a cutout and an isolator. So if you wanted to isolate the car without anybody stealing it, you could. This is the back. As you can see, all this, loads of chain around here. Look. Make it look nice and old. There's here the tank for the radiator. That was the original one in brass. And this is the cowl in here for the radiator. Because obviously the radiator's in the back of the car. And that's it really. Oh, you can just about see the radiator in the corner there. Just, just there. There it is. And I've covered it all inside in hessian. So that's so you don't. So you don't see a big shiny sort of fuel tank in the sides are done in Hessian. And the only thing that you probably haven't seen in here is the roof. There's the roof here. 
Na Santana, after all that. I did, oh, wasn't going to have the info in it on the roof, but my grandson come down here one day, he's worried about his granddad getting wet in the rain, so I'll put it in there, so that's all done there. So that's pretty much uh, the rat rod interior. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can show you in there. That's pretty much it now. Uh, apart from, well, the other thing I didn't mention, the seats of Triumph Herald. And we've got the spanner down there, it's actually welded in. There's quite a few other bits and pieces as you sort of look around. There's a little sprocket out there welded in. Uh, that's we've got. That's pretty much it really. Obviously, uh, like I said before in the other video, all this angle wine I got from, this, from these road signs, there's some of it there, look. All in there. Strengthening up the bulkhead. All along there. Anyway, that's it. And so, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you want to see any more. And hopefully in the next sort of couple of days, I shall make part three. And we'll do the back end of the car. And we'll do, try and have a look underneath. Which I know it's jacked up at the moment, so we might better see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again. Bye now.